Hey there guys and welcome back. Got a deck that Spirit Motion wanted me to do today. Um, says it's his favorite version of Consume, which I mean I can see why it looks pretty fun. So we're going to get into it. There's some weird things in here like 20 bronzes, <laughs> but there's a lot of thinning and stuff. So it's a high tempo Consume deck that doesn't spam Neckers. So you don't have to worry so much about the Sweers unless they hold on to it till like round 3 because you use them more as a finisher. But we'll get right into this. We got two Slizzards. Consume Bronze Unit from your graveyard, then play a copy of it from your deck. Uh, this is a Consume Trigger, so I mean, that's good. It filtered out a Selena Harpy, Forktail, Arrakis, Bahamas. Um, even a Necker, if somehow your one dies, is in the graveyard, then you need to use it to pull another one. Then we got three Arrakis Drones and three Harpies. These are the six thinning cards, so you technically have like 14 Bronzes. Um... These are pretty easy to get out if things go right. All you need is a Rack as Bahamut and like a Selena Harpy or something and you can bring these guys right out. If you play the Woodland Spirit, a Rack as Bahamut, Woodland Spirit, then use your leader ability, a Rack as Queen, to eat the three wolves. It's a 60 point play in three turns. That's really crazy for a tempo play. But... Yes, these guys are pretty easy to filter out. Arrakis says all you need to do is get that Arrakis Bahamas to trigger one, so as long as they're not fighting Alchemy and Ulfgaard, they should be easy enough. Then Harpies, all you need to do is kill or eat a beast, which, I mean, you got Selena Harpies, you got the things that come out of the eggs to eat, and then you got the Woodland Spirit Wolves to eat, so easy enough to trigger them. Then we got three Neckers, of course, because it's consumed decks, so Neckers go in consumed decks all the time. <laughs> There's no reason to run Consume if you're not running Duckers. These guys get huge, and they're one of your big play cards, which is why it usually sucks if you go in the Necker Warrior route, and Swear says, nope, takes away all your Neckers, and you can't really set that up. Then, yeah, because with this deck, you're not playing Neckers round one at all. You, these are definitely round three cards in this. Then we got three Selena Harpies spawn two Harpy Eggs, which, I mean, when you eat them, you consume, you boost the unit by four, so overall you get boosted by five. So like a fork tail and a Selenal Harpy. If you play a Selenal Harpy, then a fork tail. Your fork tail goes up to 18, you get two little eggs. So it's 26 power and two cards. So it's basically like playing four, two 14 power bronzes. If you pull that combo off, pretty good. Then we got fork tail, consume two allies and boost self by their power. Um, fork tail, two consume triggers. Yeah, pretty good. No brand warrior in this because it's all tempo based. Then we got Iraq as a Bahamoth. Whenever you consume a unit, spawn Iraq as Hatchling. Repeat up to three times. Uh, Iraq as Hatchlings are three powers. So, I mean, if you get four of them out, that's 12 power on top of the eights. That's a 20 power bronzer if you actually get to pull it all off, which is pretty good. Then we got a Monster's Nest. Spawn a Bronze Necrophager Insectoid unit. Boosted by three. Well, with this, Barbagazi. Arrakis, Bahamut, they're great choices. Also, Ghoul is a really good choice because we're running the Toad Prince and Pyro Manticore combo. So, Ghoul eating a Pyro Manticore out of a Monster's Nest makes a 20-point play. Pretty good for a silver. Then you can get out of, like, an Arrakis, Bahamut or something if you need that because Alchemy is just being mean. Um, and, yeah, you gotta kind of be careful because it'll set it to 11, so Alchemy, some Alchemy decks can still kill it. Some only do 10. 10 or 11 is usually what alchemy does. Then we got Commander's Horn, boost 5 adjacent units by 4. Another 20 power silver. Really easy to get 5 adjacent units with all the swarming in this. Then we got Abaya, spawn clear rain, <laughs> clear rain, spawn rain, clear skies, or Rackus Venom. If you play the Rackus Venom, she's a 15, 16 power silver, so that's not too bad. I mean, the... What do you call it? The Skellige card is a 15 power bronze, so I mean, they kind of one up her, but still, you got the clear skies as a backup thing if you need that for weather clear, so that's always good. Then we got Al Ghul, consume a bronze or a silver unit from either graveyard, boost by its power. Pretty self explanatory. Um, eating things out of your opponent's graveyard can be really useful sometimes. Say they restore a bear if you're facing bear Skellige, and. They got that eat power bear there. Yeah, I'd eat that so they can't pre suffray it for a 20 point play. Or an old geared, if they're running old geared and they got that in their graveyard, you can eat that so that doesn't come out anymore and then they don't have carryover. 
Uh, then we got Toad Prince and the Pyromanticore. This combo's random a lot of stuff, so you know what you do. You eat the Pyromanticore with Toad Prince for a 19 point silver play, and then you eat the Pyromanticore with Ghoul for a 20 point silver play, so that is that. Then we got Gales. Look at the top. Look at gold, a gold and silver card from your deck, then play one and move the other to the top of the deck. Royal Decree or Gales? Not sure. I'm still not sure which one I like more. I mean, Gales is pretty nice because you can set up for the next turn, and he does a bronze and silver. I mean, a silver and a gold, but Royal Decree guarantees you whatever you need. So in this type of deck, I think Gales is fine because, I mean... There's not anything in the gold slots in this deck where you're like, I need this right now and this is what my deck revolves around. So Gales can work out better in a lot of situations for this deck. Then we got Phoenix to resurrect a bronze or silver draconid, Forktail, and Slizzards are draconids. So you got those two options with him and that can be a pretty good swing. Then Woodland Spirit to spawn three wolves on the melee row, apply Fog to the opposite row. Wolves, they're well one powers. Are pretty good so <laughs> I mean overall it's only a 10 point gold you think but then you pull off the rack of screen combo and stuff and just makes for more consistency if I was to replace a gold it would probably be the woodland spirit though honestly because if you have a way to filter out the harpies and everything already with like Selena harpies then you don't really need the woodland spirit but then we got Jarrell Igni destroy the highest units on our enemy row if that row has a total 25 more power Igni's pretty, pretty meta in this meta. He's pretty meta in, like, every meta. You, there's, n I think just the last meta was, like, the least I've seen a Geralt Igni played. Because it wasn't so great. But now, it's great again because they totally changed the game, so. Then we got a Rackus Queen, of course. Consume three allies and boost self by their power. Immune. Oh yeah, and if I was to replace Woodland Spirit, probably go with either Kayrin or Regis Higher Vampire. Regis Higher Vampire is usually better though because you can deny your opponent something. Unless you're facing Skelego, then it's like, oh, they're going to resurrect it anyway. But that doesn't happen so much now that Priest Frey is like, doesn't resurrect everything. So that's it for this one, but I wanted to play it the way he plays it because he wanted me to do a deck profile on it. So that's why we're not running Regis Higher Vampire. And we'll get right into this and get into some games. Much. All right, game one, Francesca. Dwarfs, or hand boost, or shoop. So many different versions. Oh, let's throw Harvey back. Throw Rackus back. There we go. There's all our cards we don't need. Hold on to the Necker, of course. Hmm. His hand actually looks pretty good. And Gales gives us our Woodland Spirit. It sets us up for a silver, too, on the top of our deck. Could throw back one Selenal Harpy. Or a scissored or something. Alright, fair enough. Playing Iraq as Bahamut. Show me the coin or sod off. Ooh. Well, there's gonna be our Igni target. We're gonna play another Iraq as Bahamut. That thing's gonna get him a lot of value. Thankfully, we have Igni. Hey. Alright, now we play Selena Harpy. Thing's probably gonna easily hit 25 <laughs> with what we're about to do. Only death here for Dwan. Oh, bomber. Alright. Well, let's eat this. And... This one just cased another bomber. <laughs> yeah, the thing's already at 22. <laughs> Holy crap. My folk have suffered much. Then we'll do our Arrakis Queen. Filter out the last of these beasts. Right, one. 
two, and last rate control maybe somewhat three. No mercy. We got some tempo elf thing going on here. Probably use up commander's horn here. Oh, should have moved it one over. That's a 28 point Igni. If he runs Igni. Don't think he does though. This is the Tempo. Tempo Siri Nova. We ought to help one or the other. Deck. Let's get this right, now we Igni that away. Nice, stole Harpy. And we're like 30 points ahead. Yeah, there's the pass. He probably has um, Siri in his hand. Or not Siri, um, the Woodland Spirit Elf thing that you mulligan it and goes away. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was a pretty bad draw. Well, at least he gives me a silver, I guess. I mean, with four... Ugh, we're gonna throw one of these knuckers back. Imperial Manticore, alright. Yeah, see, he got that. Um... So that's gonna be Monster's Nest, Catacon... Yeah, let's go for it. Hopefully it's Toad Prince. Yes, it's Toad Prince. And into a slizzard. Eat that Imperial Manticore. See, the trick is when they do this, you just gotta get ahead of them. Again. <laughs> like, as long as he doesn't make a 17 point play, I can pass and get my card advantage and basically deny the fact that he got that. Yield and save me some time. Well, there's a Siri Nova because he does not want that to happen. We're going to play Woodland Spirit. Now he runs weather clear. Everything Maybe he does. Clear skies? You run weather clear, I will be surprised. Reinforcements. Got business for me. Okay. So... We don't want to be spawning too many things out. Just go with a Baya for Rackus Venom. Doesn't matter which one we hit, so we'll probably just hit this. Then I'll drop my one Necker. We might not be able to get ahead of him. Ryan! You run that elf thing that boosts him too? Huh. Yeah, we're gonna drop our Necker. But at least we got rid of his Siri Nova. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, I thought he was gonna be at 42 for a second. Yeah, without using our endgame combo that we got going on here, we wouldn't be able to probably just pass him here. You can take it. One card up in the final round. We draw into Catacon or whatever it's called. That'd be awesome. Whatever they decided to name it this patch. No, not that. That is not awesome. That needs to go away. Selena Harpy, alright. That'll give me something to eat with my second trigger. Right, fine. So we'll play Selena Harpy.
You going to this whole unit? Coexistence. Huh. No such thing. Well, oh, slizzard. We'll eat up that. Wait. I eat fork tail. Now I've nothing to revive. Can't go with fork tail, darn it. Yeah, I have to go Arrakis Bahamas or Necker. Yeah, go Necker, duh. Whoa, almost messed up. That was almost real bad. <laughs> Then we phoenix, eat an egg. We have another... No, we don't have a slizzard in there, so I can't revive that. Eat an egg in that necker. I kneel before no one. Looks like he's mulliganing for some card in his deck. Bronze or something. Maybe he has Igni or Scorch. Play the fork tail. Eat an egg. And eat the necker. See if that's enough. Hey, look, we got a Siri Nova. Sort of. With Igni, might not be. But without Igni, I think that's. I am who I need to be. Oh, oh, you need 15 more power in that card. Pretty nice Everith. Is that an Ithalan? Nope. We got him. We got the first game. <laughs> Went pretty well. Alright, well, that's game one. I thought we could pass him around too, but we didn't end up being able to. Well, it looks like that was a good time to pass, even though he was one card up. We pulled out one of his wing condition cards on that round, so I'll take it. And yeah, that's game one. We'll get in the next one now, and I'll see you guys there. Alright, here we go, game two. A mirror? A mirror. Probably spies or something. Well... We pretty much got everything we need again, except for Imperial Manticore. So things are going well for a 20 bronze card deck. Might actually throw back Fork Tail. Yeah, let's throw back a Fork Tail. Another rack is Bahamut. Don't need. Might need all three of them, actually. Is this Alchemy? Now, why would they run a mirror in Alchemy? If this is Alchemy, I'm going to regret that. And. I guess Al Ghul. Because I don't really have anything to eat right now with it. Gales, alright. We start, so let's see. Is this alchemy? Because alchemy is a problem. <laughs> when they just kill your rack as Bahamas. Oh, we got another one of those. Probably go Woodland Spirit next. Falling behind. Yeah, just in case Gales gives us um Igni. I'm gonna put it on the back row. And we'll go rack as queen. And have a huge lead after that. Alright, so it looks like he's gonna plan on resing that. Alright, let's eat these three wolves. And see what we end up with after this. <laughs> Woo! 68 to 22. <laughs> He's like, nope. <laughs> nope. Not messing with that tempo. Oh man, I wish I didn't go first though, because I want to bleed him out. Because it's spies. They have things like... Yeah, they have annoying things. Just put it that way. Um... I guess maybe both Forktails, Selena Harpy. Yeah, we'll throw back the Baya. Alright. Oh. 
Go wreck his vomit. We're gonna try to bleed him out anyway. Even though we don't end up with like eyes play. What's our last gold? If not by strength. Just gonna spy it again. Go slay no harpy. What is our last gold? Igni. My prescription. A bit of blood so he's probably gonna try to get an infiltrator here. A shame Hopefully I no. Time. I'm, oh, how do they do a it? Shame I, have no time. I can't play spies in triple emissary to save my life. And if he gets an enforcer here, I'll be like, really? Goodbye, Iraq is Bahamut or eggs. Alright. Goodbye, eggs. So yeah, we're gonna eat up some of these spies. Oh, he doesn't get as much value from that. So that's two enforcers. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. He still has one enforcer, three. Kind of want him to use up his spies here before I pass him. Jesus. His spies was this consistent for me. I'd play it all the time, I swear. <laughs> now he returns a card to his hand. Well, we know that gives us an igni. Ah, oh, what to eat? I guess that ten power unit. Be passing him in a second, but I kind of want to end up one card up. Or at least have final say, but. Ooh, yes, there we go. Now I have final say. He's out of enforcers, he has one Imperial Brigade, but he has no spies left. We have a way to trigger all of our Neckers. I have the Clutch Igni. Seeing Imperial Manticore though would be really nice. Granted, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play Igni. Oh, Stefan Skull though. Got to set him up himself up nicely or something. Not sure what yet. Imperial Manticore. Yes! Look at that! Bless me! That means I probably got Monster's Nest, right? I think I'll hold on to this. Do I really need? No. A Slizzard. Yes, nice. Well, is up. Today's a lucky day. Play the lottery. Alright, to Emissary. Well, you got one pair of Brigade left. Alright. So we're gonna eat this Manticore. Okay, we're gonna draw into another Necker, I guess. That's fine. Can't get all the Lux. Wonder if he actually held on to Swears, though. Don't be wet. Get something really Ah, oh, see, like. My Igni needs to get some profit here. <laughs> Well, I doubt he held on to Swears this long. Maybe he did. If he did, we still have two Neckers. Come on, oh, yeah, he did. We only had one. Haha. -ha. <laughs> that feels good. So, yeah, I'll probably eat. Use Phoenix to bring this out. Eat my guys that we can't menow it. I have no Arrakis Bahamas left. What am I going to slizzard? 
Now I'm stuck in my graveyard. Slizzard. Selena Harpy? Yeah, well, Slizzard out Selena Harpy. We're still going to have some decent knockers here. Oh, he mentoed it right away. So now we don't get to do that. But, we do get to res the fork tail. To eat these two eggs. Make our knockers a little bit stronger. Ooh, seven points behind. See, Swears isn't as deadly against this deck. That's why I like Cantarella. Let us see. Alright, we'll go with our last Necker. Then we Gales and either Monster's Nest or Igni, depending on the situation. Probably Igni. Oh, Commander's Horde. That's 20, that's 21, so yeah, we Igni. Damn it. Yeah, what's your last card, Mr. Spies? Swears has failed you. You need... 33 more points? Not happening without an Igni. What's your last card? Nope. We got him. You Ooh, we beat spies. <laughs> you have my gratitude, what? Well, we got him, so that's another win. Let's get the last one. That went pretty well. <laughs> he held on to his swears because he knew he was facing consume, but it didn't matter. Because we only run three and the deck's not like, if you don't have neckers, you're going to lose. That's kind of nice. Only thing is consistency, maybe? I don't know. And let's see how the next one goes. It is how I punish those who irritate me. Alright, game three, Radvid. We won't be summoning two Arrakis Bahamas against him, or maybe none, because this is what I was afraid of. Let's throw back a Harpy. Arrakis and an Arrakis. Oh, we got one. We got one. The thing that's kind of scary, though, is if I drop an Arrakis Bahamoth. Well, how am I going to do this? Because a smart Radvid player says you drop an Arrakis Bahamas slain a harpy. No. Because he could think I have another one. Oh, that's a tad unfortunate, but that's alright. We can deal with that. If he pops an egg, we'll just filter out another. Okay, he's scare tactic, Radvid. Of course, I'm not sure I would take that lock either. I don't know why he's flashing over that. He's like, ah, oh, that thing's gonna kill your eggs. I don't care so much if it kills my eggs as long as I get to consume something. So I can filter out what I need. Have we gone first every game? <laughs> That's alright. What's he doing? Is this another red event? Red or. Pencil deck with Radvid. Oh yeah, hit one of the eggs, of course. Of course! That's alright. Play the fork tail. And we'll eat one of these. Forty-seven. Thank you. Um Let's make him waste off one of those Thunderbolt potions. Because he has to be running them if he's running Aspirants. Yep, there it is. There's one. 
Now we just play our Selena Harpy. And eat the eggs. And one of our guys with the Rackus Queen. Oh, is he going to drop the Radovid now? It's like, I'm not having that. Come on, you're scare tactic, Radovid. You don't play that. You never play him. He's your last play. <laughs> what if I have a Morvin, man? What are you going to do? How are you going to unlock it? Alright. That's fine. Oh my... And it pinged the egg again. How many creatures do I have out? <laughs> How many? And it hits the egg. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. One in thirteen chance. Man. Some days. Alright, let's eat this egg. I only need to eat one anyway. Because I just need to filter out my other harpies here. Or what? We're like almost 40 points ahead. We should be able to pass. Best thing is nobody knows what consumed the deck this is so far. So like, wait a minute. Oh, Commander Sword? Now that did almost catch him up. But we got a Commander's Horn. Let's see, let's set this up right so we don't get Igneed. Then, if we win, actually, I'll Al Ghul his Radovid. I kind of really want to take this round now, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Because we have nothing left to play. Wow, a Dijkstra. Hopefully that doesn't put him ahead. Thunderbolt. Ho, ho, I see Siri Nova. Oh, man. Siri Nova. Oh, that put him ahead. That is unfortunate. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get the good luck against this guy. Nine power play, not enough. Yeah, we just passed here. I mean, he used up three golds. He has his leader ability. So he's probably going to lock one of our Neckers. Man, just barely passed our tempo with Siri Nova. Oh, look at who it is. It is Igni. That is who I needed. Let's throw one of these back. Try to get that Toad Prince. Now, if he passes me here... Doesn't look like he's going to anyway. Hmm. If he... Plays us out this round, we might lose. We don't have the best combo hand right now. Especially with the... Okay, whew. I don't get to eat his guy, but... We get to play out a Necker so we can slither it. Whew. Toad Prince. Gales, that gives me a chance at Toad Prince. Um, say I... Hmm. I think I throw this guy back. Okay, Monster's Nest. Now we probably get Toad Prince, maybe. It's either Toad Prince or that eating guy. Toad Prince would be amazing, since we have Monster's Nest. Slain Harpy's kind of dead. Maybe I should have thrown that back. Oh, it's my turn. Yep. 
every day, all day, hit the egg. Alright, gals. Toad Prince. I don't want to bring out a Necker because he's in the locket. So, Toad Prince. Yes. There we go. Ooh, and into, oh, of course, it's into Phoenix because it's my next card. Eat that Imperial Manticore. Casper and Minutes. What the heck? That thing's just. Wow. Dead set on eggs. Wow. That's that's pretty crazy. Huh. We're gonna play Monster's Nest. And play the ghoul. We're gonna eat the Manticore, of course. He's holding on to Radovid, and I can't do much about that, so I mean, maybe, maybe bring out Forktail before I play the Necker. And I get one, two more Consume Ticks on it. Hmm. Yeah, that seems about right. Because really, I bring out a Necker, is he really not going to lock up with a Radovid? Let's eat these two. Try to keep that row from being dangerous. At least the top and bottom row, middle row might be alright. Alright, so now we slizzard around a necker. He locks it. Yeah. You play Radovid, you lock my necker. That's how this goes. That's why he ate targets before I brought him out. Because I would have lost out on the two. Consume. So, looks like we get a uh, decent Igni. It is how I punish those who irritate me. Ooh, that almost lined up for 20 point Igni for him. Get this over with. Boom. And is that enough? Maybe. I can't believe his machine hit every single one of my eggs. I would have gotten more tempo if I could eat my eggs. Minus five, minus three, okay. Need another 20. 21 points because that's going to give you two. Oh, oh, no, no, we got him. We got him. Even with your little ballista thing, ping every one of our eggs. One in 13, one in four, one in five. Egg, egg gone, egg gone, egg gone. Every time. How? How? Do you have like some little switch that you can target my eggs with? <laughs> that's it for this one, guys. Deck? Really good. Uh, it's, it's a more, I think it's, I don't know. That's a hard call if it's better than that other consume deck. Because I don't think, it's not as consistent, but the tempo is there to be a lot stronger than the other consume deck. And then you got the thing where you don't have to worry about Sweeter so much, so. That is up to you to decide. Me, I can't really make a decision on that. I mean, consistency is kind of what I lean towards more than power levels. So maybe the other one, but this deck is definitely still good and still fun. But then you can make up for consistency with the fact that Swears doesn't just auto-kill you. Hmm. Well, it's a good deck nonetheless, so that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a good one.